On Monday's TV6 Morning News, an alleged threat to Gwynn Area Community Schools. Happening now, the school closure and the steps being taken to address the safety for students and staff. Also, what Marquette business owners have to say about the new mask requirements from the CDC and the protocols for customers. Plus, a political group is taking action in Marquette County to stand up for citizens' rights and constitutional freedoms. Monday's TV6 Morning News starts now. From Upper Michigan's source, this is your TV6 Morning News. Good Monday morning to you. I'm Elizabeth Peterson. And I'm Alyssa Jaywar. Thanks for joining us on this beautiful Monday morning. And uh, w nice weekend, hoping for another nice week. Right? I think summer might be on its way, but we're still in spring. Jennifer, what do you have for us this week? Yeah, so it actually is going to feel way more like summer as we continue throughout the rest of the week. Not to mention that it's going to continue to stay warm and above normal, but now we're going to start to tap into some more golf moisture. And so what that means for all of us is, hey, it's going to start to feel a little bit humid outside. Today, though, not that bad. Temperatures into the 40s in the central and east. On the west end of the UP, we're still looking at some 50s. 54 over at Ontonagon, 47 over at Gwynn. Dew point temperatures right now. So this is a measure of how much moisture is in the atmosphere into the 40s. And if you look at the color coordination, there's some light tan. Just means it's with Elizabeth Peterson, Alyssa Jaywar, Tia Trudgeon, and meteorologist Jennifer Perez. Welcome back. Your best stop forecast. Have some sunny skies for us today. With temperatures climbing in those 70s. Developing now, the head of the CDC is explaining why the agency said.